Pay attention. It's going to be on a test later. Episode four of Song Gimmick. I'm Kyle Hyman here with my brothers. And if you want to check out some of my other podcasts, I've got over a thousand episodes over at kylehyman.com. And also you can check other podcasts at spokestreet.com. Gentlemen, where are you these days? Well, I'm Corey, creative director at Likeable Art, L-I-K-A-B-L-E-A-R-T.com. And you'll have to go there to figure out what I do. <laughs> I'm Ty. I'm in this room right now. And I do a podcast called uh, Lunch Break Nerd Brawl. And I work at Sweetwater selling microphones and stuff. Lunch Break Nerd Brawl. What's, uh, what's your favorite brawl that you've done? Uh, I really like the Jack Bauer versus um, uh, Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan, mm, yeah. that's a good one. I, I was a guest for that Featuring one. Kyle Hyman. I took I took the Jack Bauer side, and Matt was taking the Jack Ryan side. Corey, you haven't been on an episode yet, have you? I thought we did one, but I, <laughs> I, I can't remember. We, it all. we definitely we planned one, it, but I don't think do we did it. it. Huh. You were going to be on the serial mascot episode and then we didn't do it. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe serial mascots. Who would you take for that? Uh, we ended up recording the episode. I think, uh, was it? I would take the tricks rabbit. No way. Yeah. Tony the Tiger. Uh, sure. Uh, I think captain long, crunch was in the running. If it's a fight. No. Maybe. Tricks rabbit. I think it, I think he's playing a he's playing a part that whole time. I think he's a brilliant. Uh, okay. I think I think the uh, the Lucky Charms guy ended up winning that one because uh, the the marshmallows actually have magical powers. Uh, okay. Oh, that's All right. that was the that argument sense. at least. I don't know if it's true. That's, that's got some <laughs> most of the stuff we say in our podcast isn't actually true. So <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. All right, today's song gimmick comes from Dua Lipa's song "Don't Start Now." So not to be confused with Duolingo. No, it's not Duolingo. <laughs> Dua Lipa. Do you know the song? Don't start now. Yes. Okay. Any idea what the gimmick is? I've got two. Uh, whenever you press play, it does start now. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to uh, the <laughs> name of the song. Don't no, don't listen to this song. That'd be great. Um, I can't uh, think of I'm, what that song sounds like. And I'm, I'd have to listen to it again. I am hoping because, you know, you, you told me about the show and I've been collecting songs and there's this song that I can't figure out what it's called or who it's by that has a really great gimmick. And I'm just hoping this might be that song because I'm actually not sure what the song is. All right. Well, like I said, this has two gimmicks. So see if you can figure out this first one. That Moby string part right there. Ooh-wee. Very good. Yes. Is it a sample from Moby? Because it does Listen. sound a lot like. Is it the same key? The song is called Extreme Ways and it's from the Born Identity soundtrack. That's, That's how I know it. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know it was Moby until I looked it up. But yeah, it's the exact same key. Hey. Man. Do I get five points? I think you deserve five points. It, the piano part's similar too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. All right, so here's back to back. Nice. Gosh, that is. So at first, I just thought, "Wow, that sounds remarkably close to the Born Identity soundtrack." And then, in prepping for the song, I just I was expecting it to be like, "Wow, that is similar." I wasn't expecting it to be a direct rip of it or a sample, uh, but what a great reference and and yeah. a pure too, I think. You, is it actually um, like a sample from it, or is it just they made the same thing? I can't tell. I mean, the Dua Lipa version is much more rich. Yeah, Moby One is it actually? It's very quiet as an intro. Moby One Kenobi. Moby. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I don't know. Here, I'll play him back to back again. Here, see if you have an idea. 
I, they sound very similar. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I same glide and everything. Yeah. I don't know why you would imitate it when you could just, I want to know if there's something thematically that they're like referencing the born identity in that song. That's, that's what happens a lot of times. Like, um, remember the men in black theme song is a sample of the forget me nots. Mm-hmm. Oh. Get me nots. Oh, uh, and so like, you like, make people forget them. They- yeah. The little zapper thing right. to make you do things. And now nobody so remembers like, that song and everybody knows the men in black song. Right. Oh, well, depending on age, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was the first gimmick. I like it. Listen, to the second gimmick. Don't show up. Don't come out. Gosh, that's yeah. fun. Wait, you know what it is? Everything cut out. It's. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. I of. like that. Okay. I, I want to hear that yeah. again. Now I'm okay. going to listen to that. The change. Don't show up. It's got that whole disco feel to it. Everything about that bass line and like that reference back to disco, which uh, okay. I, I, I like it a lot. So the, the disco, clapping. the top one is good, but but Ty's got it. It's the... Click, 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 click. Yeah, it's a cowbell. Don't stop caring about me now. Yeah. Walk away. And, and it just happens like a couple different times during the verses that ta, 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 it, it, I love it so much. It's just like, and if you're listening makes, for it, it is so pronounced. Yeah. 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 It cuts through. It's not, it's not secret. So I like, we're listening to that hey. in the car and I'm air, air cowbelling it. So the kids can make sure they hear it. Pay attention. It's going to be on a test later. <laughs> so that, like, let's just put a cowbell like in this one little riff. I I also really like the whole like all of the chord structure and everything of the song just completely cut out there and that bass line and drums comes in. Yeah. And it, it makes it hit like if the rest of the band was still there, it would have just it mm-hmm. wouldn't have hit as hard. Oh, you know what? Do you know how the song starts after the intro? Here, I'm gonna skip to the actual song here. Did a full one. Did a full 180. Did a full 180. So it starts with this whole. Like, wanna see me. Did a full 180. And it's got like a crackle in there, like a record a, a, a sound effect, not part of like a sample of what they're actually using, but it's mm-hmm. a little. Did a full. Just got a little crackle. Yeah. In the silence. Did a full 180. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. Yeah, I think the whole song is a fun, happy. Yeah, I song. gotta go back and listen to this song closer because I'm in. Okay. Well, I guess with the two, then which do you think is the better gimmick? The reference to Moby or Born franchise? The or- reference to Moby or Born didn't seem to have significance. Yeah. I I appreciate it and I like it. Yeah. I don't think it's quite the gimmick. I think the the drop and the the 180 and the cowbell, that's more of the gimmick for this one. Yeah, so right. so yeah, I would say Moby is a deeper cut. Something that's yeah. m- maybe a little more fun to recognize and see and say, "Oh, did you catch this or whatever?" Uh right. but at the same time easily missed. Um where where yeah, it, cowbell in general has become a cultural gimmick and so all right fun yeah. one to add in. it also made me think of the the cowbell or blocks that they use in uh killing of the name of it killing does of the name you say that cluck, 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 cluck. yeah i wonder if they sampled no it's a pop 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 it's too many yeah. all right well if i could be so bold as to tease episode five uh I think I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what it is. It's Bon Jovi's living on a prayer. Of course. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) So we'll wrap up season one of song gimmick. I I think it has to be the halfway point. 
Maybe this maybe this can only go two seasons then. Because we're, we're, we're halfway there. Because we're halfway, halfway there. there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no one, there's a two, guess, two season limit. Any guesses what the, the gimmick is? No. Okay. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. So gimmick.